Hey everybody, it's Brian from Brian Lives Real Estate and we are at another home today, another video walkthrough. And today we're at 10536 East Diffraction Avenue in Mesa, Arizona. This was built in 2014 and there's over $200,000 worth of upgrades. The square footage is 4,380 and it's five bedrooms and four and a half baths. It has a four car garage as you can see. And there is a pool and the listing price is $1,195,000. And there's an HOA and it's $100 monthly. And I want to thank David uh, Brown of the listing agent for allowing us to do this video. So it's a, it's a very nice neighborhood. So we pan around here. Very good on the uh, landscaping too. And oh, my favorite, a courtyard. Almost completely, uh, almost completely um, encased. All right. As we walk around the front here, get nice landscaping. Let me get the keys and let's get inside and take a look. Again, I'm reacting with you guys. I don't know, I've not pre-walked this. I don't know what the, uh, the layout is other than with five bedrooms and four baths. I'm assuming there's gonna be some en suites beside the primary. Okay, I locked it. I'm gonna stop this right now. Hopefully we can get in. So let me just say that was more difficult. <laughs> so let's get inside and take a look. So I like the wainscoting on the walls right away. I'm not sure what color the paint is. Is this black or a navy blue? I think it's, hmm, I think it's black. I like the entryway. My chandelier open. Let's go to the left here, and the flooring, I think we're laminate, yeah, uh, either laminate or, or uh, you know, I'm not sure, I might have to check the, uh, I have to check the notes. This could be really high-end uh, vinyl planking. Looks like we have 10 foot tall ceilings in here. And this is an on suite, as, as you can see. Let's see how the bathroom is. Uh, it's a little dark. Uh, glass, and then it's not tiled, as you can see. It's just, um, I don't know what you would call that. So if you know, let me know in the comments, but it's not tile. Nice vanity, I mean. If you've been watching these videos with me for a while, you know that I love en suite bedrooms, so. I do, like I said, I do like the wainscoting. I'm just not uh, fond of the colors. Looks like here we're in the dining room area right here. And then this is the other view of the courtyard, which I do love. I love courtyards. All right. Let's find some more lights. It's dark and the, the pink color is not helping. It might, I'm not. You tell me what you think the color is. I think it's really dark blue or black. I'm not sure. Or, you know, really dark navy blue. I like the, um, especially with kids, right? I like the, uh, the gate here. It looks like it's looks like it's part of the uh, stairwell itself, or the stairs himself. Let's turn some more lights on. Okay, it looks like they turned off some lights over here. 
So this is a nice like a little mud room area and the powder room. Must be a hall closet right here. Yeah, pretty big hall closet though. Takes up some space underneath the uh, stairs for sure. I like these cabinets. Take your shoes off, put your jackets away. So one of these must be good to the garage, right? Yeah, this is the first two car garage. Hope I just didn't set the alarm off. Looks like they have a soft water heater or soft water system and their water heater. Now the, uh, you know, they could do some painting here on the doors, right? So this is laundry room. Yep. And again, I love when you have gas and electrical for your dryers. So that gives you the option. Turn this light off. So the other light switch was for the stairs, I think. All right, so now we're in the family room. It looks like you have the breakfast nook over there. And someone had a good, a big good boy. Yeah, I like the floor plan, um, especially for a two-story. I like the tall ceilings. Let's see about the cabinets. Okay, good quality cabinets. And I think that's slow closing. Oh, they got the uh, poles too, so this is nice. Maybe not so closing. You got a five burner stove, KitchenAid. KitchenAid microwave, KitchenAid dual uh, oven. I'm going to assume part of the original build under mount sink. Nice butler's pantry area here. I like the um, the plugs. So you can put your coffee machine in there or whatever. Yeah, uh, okay, size pantry. Which I can't see the light is on the outside. Yep. You know, a little small for this big of a house, I think, but uh, you know. That's bad. Again, your formal dining area right here. And yeah, we've got the bar, right? The best part of the house. Oh, this is not a, it's maybe a desk area to, I don't know. It's gonna be a bar, you just sit down. <laughs> I don't know, I would call it a bar. It almost looks like a reception area, like you're doing business out of here. So let's go through the primary. Not the light switches I wanted. Yeah, now this looks black. So uh, not my favorite color. It's a nice size uh, primary though. Got trade ceilings. And a nice little uh, retreat right there before you come into the bedroom area. I like the barn doors is there as well. Let's turn some lights on here. A lot of lights are out. So you've got a vanity there, soaking tub, and another vanity there. I'm trying not to get on the uh, mirrors, but can't help it today. Water closet, a uh, rather large linen closet. I'm expecting to find the walk-in closet for the, the primary, but we haven't seen it yet. It's got to be here. And it looks like it's a hidden door one. 
That's neat. Yeah, guys, there's no more light. I wish you could see better. I've turned all the lights on and only one light is working. We get lights. So, it's completely dark in here. I know, I'm sorry. I'm trying to find a light switch. Hmm. Oh. So, I love me some secret doors. We got a secret door. This is awesome. I wonder if it was part of the uh, upgrades. Don't know what this is. Hang your weapons. That's nice. Secret doors. Okay. Yeah, so the last two videos, I just used the normal lens and I went back to wide now because let me turn off the uh, bathroom. But I went to uh, the normal ones in the last two videos I did and I didn't like them. I know I asked for comments. So if you did like them, let me know. But I think the wide angle lens works better. It gives you a better view of the home. But like I said, let me know in the uh, comments. Should we go upstairs? Let's go, yeah, let's go upstairs. There's a two car garage we're missing somewhere, but uh, you know. So I like the stairs, they're wood. White kicks, man, that's, as someone who had white uh, stair kicks on his, own, his old home, you know, they get, they get uh, scuffed up pretty easy. So immediately up the stairs, it looks like we could see a loft right there. It goes over there. That's nice. Here's another bedroom. Love the plantation shutters, which is why I forgot they were on the other video, right? I'm like, what are those? They're plantation shutters. <laughs> another in suite. They're not soft closing, but uh, the door. The doors were um, quality made. Nice walk-in closet here. And this looks like a Jack and Jill. Oh, what was that light transfer? Yep. Just a standard build shower and nothing, nothing special there. Well, it's there. Then you have another linen closet. And then uh, another sink. It's almost like a mirror of the other, uh, the other room. Okay. So that's the upstairs. I'm gonna stop the video and then start it again. We're at the second garage. I'll talk to you in one moment. So we're back to the second garage and there is no, I don't have the key for that, but that's the door right there to the second garage. There's no uh, home access from that garage directly into the home. So let's go to the backyard. Yeah, you know, we're here too. I like the, uh, like the view you get, right? From the upstairs there in the banister. Yeah, this, this home would be um, much brighter if they changed the paint color, but it's paint color, right? It's not that hard to do. And you got a secret, you got a secret room. All right. So, love the decking. I think it's travertine again. I love how it's an edgeless pool right there. You just go walk right in. 
That's great. Nice hot tub sauna area right there. Nice pool. Get you up there too. A lot of pigeons. The rats of the bird family. Let's go this way. Get your barbecue here. I'm sure, this would be the pool equipment behind that. Maybe a putting green as well over here. Yeah, oh, they got a heater. Nice. And lemon trees. <laughs> I really like the landscape over here. Go to the other side of the house. This pergola. It's a Luma wood. Mine wood. I have something like this, but I like this pattern better. So overall, it's a beautifully landscaped backyard with a nice pool. And a pigeon infestation. Let's go to the side of the house here. As I stumble. Oh, oh roses. I miss roses. I had roses when I lived in California. I need to get some in my yard. Okay guys, this is Brian from Ryanless Real Estate. Thank you for watching and please like and subscribe and let me know what you think about the home in the uh, comments.